is pulling over for a funeral procession, a courtesy or the law. Pepper Baker clears up the confusion on what to do when you come across one. Knowing what to do when you come across a funeral procession can be tricky. Social media posts from this week expressed their opinions on what to do while a procession passes. But what exactly is the law? The best thing to do is to pull to the side of the road and let the procession pass. That's the accepted practice. It is against the law to cut into a procession or pass one on a two-lane highway. Some processions have police escorts, but if they don't, knowing where it begins and ends can be confusing. The first car is usually going to have a light on the top of it and a sign that says funeral. So that will be the lead car and it will signify that there's a procession coming through. The last car usually will have flashing lights or headlights on. Now the law does state that funeral processions do have the right of way through intersections just like this one. And other vehicles should yield, but if they don't, they could be facing a misdemeanor or a fine of up to $100. However, for oncoming traffic, it's a different story. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office confirmed that it is not against the law for cars going in the opposite direction from the funeral procession to keep driving, and that stopping might even cause accidents. You may want to slow down, but you have to make sure that you don't cause an accident by stopping uh, in the middle of the road for a procession. Whichever you decide, always remember to drive safely. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Also illegal under state law, turning on your lights and trying to join a procession in order to get the right of way.